In the Franciscan background, we have a real appreciation for everything in creation. All of creation and that reverence that we have, that we've been imbued with that kind of thing. And so as soon as you said Francis in an outdoor setting, it just fit right into what we've been thinking and we've, our whole philosophy all this time, you know, the philosophy of the Sisters of St. Francis. And I have them all over, you know, I have them in churches and in libraries, but I, I always try and do things that are like that, churches, schools, libraries, you know, I don't want to do things that are not connected somehow, you know, spiritually. You know, the one you have here with that uh, the quotation from Corinthians, love, you know. When I look at that, you know, they, the design of that is just so intricate. I said, how did I ever come up with that? And I think I know, you know. It's the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. I, I'm quite sure of it all the way through. We have in our homes pictures of loved ones. They're reminders to us of these people who, who touch us in our lives. So why would we not have sacred art and any kind of inspiring art, religious, healing, comfort pictures around us, they move within us at that deeper level, whether we're conscious of it or not. And when we find it difficult to pray, sometimes we can stand in front of the Blessed Mother statue or in front of a, a comfort a scene even of healing or of nature that just moves within us. And that's the spirit moving there. I have some students who work with me too, and that's it. I would really encourage them to follow their talents and to really develop the talents that, that God gave them. And um, you can't always look to it as a, um, uh, a financial kind of a development for them or financial success, you know, but you still have to, to express yourself. It's just something that you have to do. Because yeah, if you have that talent, I just think that you're expected to develop it then.